listening to all of these amazing women speak, the thing that stands out to me is just how important it is for all of us to not only advocate for ourselves, which is something I struggle to do every day, but also for the women around us. It's really making sure that there's diverse voices at the table across all levels that are making decisions that impact the company because it's only going to make us a better business. I think what Coach B. Hull taught me was trying to be an impact person for the younger generation. So he's the reason why I started my girls camp and to see them grow into young women, uh, graduating college, you know, starting businesses. And I still have really close relationships with some of them. It's a commitment to elevating each other and empowering the community of women. And I think it starts with us, right? In the industry, uh, leaders within the industry that have the mechanism for enabling that change. And, and you don't have to just be an athlete or you don't have to just um, be on TV or a reporter. There are so many avenues and, and ways to do it. If you love sports, there are so many jobs out there. And, and I think that that's not something that I knew growing up. Um, it's not something that I think is, is well known out there. It's how to get involved. Women that are considering getting into sports as a career always want to make sure that we're mentoring, mentoring them and making sure that they have kind of the tools that they need, the connections that they would need to break into this industry, which isn't always an easy thing to do. I do feel empowered and encouraged to, to practice those values every single day. And that is showing up for my team, that is, you know, elevating women, whether they're in the room or not, right? And I'm making sure that I'm doing my part because, you know, to Mackenzie's point and everyone else, it's like really what you build, it's opening doors and, um, and creating new opportunities of progress for other people that come after you.